Hey, we are back with the second show here tonight on Tuesday night here on DJ and TV. We have got, let's see, make sure, the one and only Brian S. Red coming to you from Milwaukee, Wisconsin tonight. And from Temecula, California, in the 90-some degree heat, we've got Jay Brannon. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening, John. Good evening, how are you? Doing well, doing well. Tonight, guys, I, we've got a kind of a two-part show we're going to do this evening. We're going to kind of dig into, and this is kind of, you hear people every once in a while as as they're starting to, you know, see that things are opening up and they're starting to see that there could be some money coming down the line. They're like, well, where's the new gear? Now, I want to talk about that. And we're going to go into that a little bit. And then the second half, I, I have got a young man that has created an app. You guys have probably talked about it in the chill room a little bit for uh, DJ requests. Uh, her how to handle these during this COVID situation. And I've invited him actually to join us because I wanted him to show you guys what this and kind of walk you through it and have oh, you guys sweet. take a look at it and uh, give him some thoughts and feedback on that. And and it's a great time to do it if you've got, uh, since we're all here together tonight. So yeah, so that's, I've heard great things about the app. Yeah, it's he's really been putting putting a lot of a lot of time and a lot of uh, taking a lot of feedback from the DJ community on on what should be there and how it should work. So, uh, I'll be kind awesome. of excited to see how that all comes together tonight uh, during our, that time of it. So, so let's just hit that first question. There hasn't been much for new gear released. We had Nam, and after Nam, we had that. There's always that anticipation of what's going to be coming out and what's going to be new, and then it's like ghost town from from information once this COVID situation hit. Uh, Brian's got a few things he's going to talk about, but Jay, what what are you seeing out there right now as far as new things coming out, or what have you heard? Well, I've heard just on the streets where I find out all my information. Um, and, you know, it's not only a company that I might know pretty well, but other companies, you know, with everything crashing down, everybody put the brakes on. And I think any new releases that you would have seen at Mobile Beat, you know, it became a coin flip. Should we go forward as we enter this pandemic or should we wait a week or two or a month or two months? And now it's where are we with Expo or Gear Fest at Sweetwater? And I think you're going to find that the sweet spot for new gear is going to be the fall. I, I don't anticipate much much pre-August and I think more September, October, because even with us getting back into the swing of things, we're not getting back into what we should be into. You know, we're not getting back to, there's no magic switch that got turned on and said, Hey, it's the summer. Now you're back to doing like 20 weddings this month. So I think a lot of companies pulled back in, in the Sega pioneer, you know, the biggest release last at the end of the year was the XZ. Um, it's wildfire. People are loving it. It's doing really well. It's I, from what I'm I'm getting asked on Facebook, people are having a tough time getting it. It's back ordered, but I think that this affected manufacturing, shipping, distribution. It affected a lot more than people kind of realize. Right. One of the things that I think people don't understand, and I certainly didn't. In a nutshell, you come up with an idea, you build something, it works out, and you decide to make it. It's not just an open door to, hey, will you please manufacture this for us today and we're going to sell it tomorrow? There's a lot more logistics that are involved in making gear. So companies often know quite a far time ahead when this gear should be available and everyone wants it to be available at a certain point. So I think you're going to see what we would have seen by now. You're going to see it again, late summer, early fall. And there are companies that have released things. You know, and I've been impressed with what I've seen released from other companies. I really have. I, I just think that now it's a tough time. I mean, it's a financial issue. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't really come out and say, here's a $1,500 or $2,000 new item. What do you guys think? <laughs> yeah, if I was doing my five gigs a week, I'd buy it, but I'm not. So, yeah. you know, I think, I think in general, that's where we stand in the market. And I think we're going to stay there for a little while. And it, it's lighting, it's sound, it's everybody. Nobody's pushing new gear. Yeah, I was, I was kind of thinking back to what we've seen for press releases. Um, very, very little. Uh, uh, there's a couple of American uh, DJ, American audio uh, pieces Brian's going to talk about. Um, you know, Pro X, uh, I'm on their their list. They had a new piece of, of uh, some new cases, a new line of cases that have come out uh, that are waterproof cases. Um, you know, from 
you know, Pioneer, you said before the first of the years when they came out with their last new piece, uh, yeah. Denon had announced at NAM um, that they were coming out with two new things and they were, they've now made it. Um, I, I think I've, there were four or five pieces of gear that were, I don't know if they were going to bring them out for Infocom or if it was going to be a, a DJ Expo um, release. It was going to be a summer of 20, uh, of 2020. So it's I've had a couple of people saying we may push this back till NAM of 2021. And, and I'm hearing that too. I mean, I can think of two pieces that have come out in the last three months and they're two sub $300 controllers from Newmark. And that's literally the only pieces I can think of that really have come out that have done anything or been of any, you know, contribution to the industry. But again, we're at that tough time. What's your market now? Mm -hmm. Is your market the high-end wedding guy, the big club guy? Is it the getting back into DJing guy? Is it the, you know, I, I think everybody is kind of waiting for the smoke to clear a little bit. And even when it does, you can't suddenly throw it all out there. You can't say, okay, it looks like we're back to doing weddings. Here you go, guys. Because mm -hmm. we're not. I mean, I have one wedding this month. That's it. It's June. And yeah. I'm in 90 degree weather in Southern California. We're, we're not back yet. And we talk about this with Brian all the time in the children. We may not be back until the end of the year, beginning of next year. Yeah. So NAM 2021 is a good possibility. CES announced there ago. My sources tell me NAM is scheduled. You know, so every, everything's a go there. But are we going to see a flood in January in Anaheim? I think this will have much longer term effects and I think new gear needs to come out in a new way. I don't think it needs to be released with smoke bombs and flames and fire. I think it needs to come out as now that you're working, here's something you can save up for, mm -hmm. or here's something you can aspire to. Lighting is even tougher and I can't wait to hear what Brian has to say, but lighting is that thing that you're going to look at and go, man, like, where, where do I want to go with this? I'm surprised no one's come out with facades. I expected facades to be a push. I, that, I mean, if I owned a company that made them, I'd be pushing those right now going, hey, when you get back into those events, you want to keep social distance. Here's this facade that you can set up in this way. I mean, that's just my two cents worth. You know? I can keep talking. No, it's just, it's just uh, Jimmy, Jimmy, I'm not sure what you mean by Scrappa is uh, unboxing tonight. Is he doing that in the chill room later? He might be. I know what's going on. Oh, Jimmy I know. Did a, Jimmy did a job for Scrappa. Mm -hmm. Oh. And Scrappa has sent him a care package to thank him. Ah. For the job that he did. So Jimmy Got is the... going to do the unboxing live in the chill room. Nice, it's nice. Quite, okay. Yep, that's, that's what I think he's talking about. I, yep, that, that makes oh, sense. Cool. Yeah, I know. I, yeah, I heard Scrappa sent something over from Australia. Yeah. And, it, and I guess <clears> a care was, package. Yeah, it was held up he, in customs for a few days. A very Australian care package. Excellent. Yeah. Good. I mean, John, I think the thing moving forward is, and where something like this show becomes so pivotal, is that I think this will be some of the new ways to get information out. It won't just be... We spent three grand on this video and we spent 10 grand on this advertising. And what do you guys think? Mm -hmm. Because people aren't there mentally. We're, I'm certainly not. No. They... You know, new gear is going to be that thing that I look at and go, it's, it, the word need is going to come up a lot more than want. Sure. Yeah. And that's why, I, you know, as, as even talking to Ben and what they're, the kind of gear that they're moving right now. They're not moving the controllers. They're not moving this, that, or the other thing. They're moving microphone covers. They're moving the, yeah. the spray. They're moving live streaming things. That's what became. And I, and you said, I, I can talking to DJs who, to in some some extent, almost kind of shut that part of their life down because the depression of thinking, oh, when am I going to be able to get out and go do shows again? So instead of you know researching gear and doing some of that. It's amazing how many people initially thought, okay, I'm going to do all this stuff and utilize this time and, and make myself better. But once they got into two weeks and three weeks and they're like, I just have to get away from it. And right. they, they well, start. And that's, and that's the thing. It's, it's not a matter of you don't have the money for it. It's not a matter of you don't want it. It's, it's literally like, do you need it? I mean, Brian was the first guy and I give him all the credit and respect in the world on this. 
Brian was the first one to come out and say, moving forward, the events will be smaller. They'll be different. Mm -hmm. And I was on the other side of that going, no, no, when we're back, we're back. And I was wrong. And he was right. They are going to be smaller. They are going to be in a different realm. And we are going to come into them with a different mentality. So I, my prediction is lighting will be bigger than gear because lighting will be something that you can help to put the whole event together with more than a new controller or a new set of speakers. That's, that's what I'm now feeling. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's going to go more in that direction. You know, before we go any further tonight, I have to say something and it's been on my mind uh, all afternoon. And I want to congratulate you for the new Bill and Ted trailer that dropped today. It looks excellent. You know what? I didn't want to say anything because I was afraid <laughs> that what would happen is it would change the audience. I'm looking over now. We the have, only criticism I have. For we have you. 700 people watching now and the show just started. Look, and my fear is I, now. <laughs> I know you shaved the beard for it, and it looks great and all, but I would. I was asked the, to. I would have kept the beard, though. It was. We really may go back to it. You know, I, I could. Have I would have kept bite. the beard for for Bill and Ted. I know that you know. I I, I didn't I can have the that. beard in the first two, but I would have kept it. I think it. I think it would have looked nice. It would, yeah, nice. I, I might. I might go back to it. You know, I don't know. I've got a John Wick. I mean, I heard there's a John Wick thing coming up yeah. soon. That you know, if I have to stunt double. Yeah. So <laughs> I always go there. Yeah. So what's going on with gear, guys? I I can tell you a couple things that I know. That it's it's getting a little weird out there. Uh, for instance, we talked about LD systems and gravity stands and things like that. That was all Adam Hall North America, which is a relatively new venture from Adam Hall Germany. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. They have completely fired the staff at Adam Hall US yeah, North heard. America. It's gone. Okay. Like every contact I ever had there, you know, is gone. They're no longer with Adam Hall because US or North America, because there is no more Adam Hall North America. So we were talking about things like the Maui Five Go. We were talking about the new uh, 44, the big Maui 44 thing that was supposed to be just a cat's butt for big events. Sure. I, no, I, I'm not forcing any kind of marketing or push or anything like that for that here in North America in the foreseeable future. That sure. might change. I don't know what their plan is. I don't know anybody at Adam Hall, Germany, but but I know that we're done talking about that for now. At least I am because I have no context there. Mm -hmm. right. But so, so that's over. Now, on to what I know and... For this, I will do a screen share if you don't mind. Sure. This is and this is, this is a lot of the stuff you guys know. So I'm going to talk about some things that you guys yeah. already know about. I'm stoked. Such as the Larger Voice Evolve 30M Calm loudspeaker. Now I'm super impressed with that, by the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we had it in the chill room. John brought it for us to use in the the chill room. Yeah. No, it was awesome. DJ really and PD, DJ convention. I've had a chance to play with it a little bit more here at the house. It's a pretty cool speaker. The criticism on it when it first came out that a lot of people yeah. had was it's small. Sure. I want a big speaker. Sounds I don't want big. a small speaker. Sounds but, big. But now it's like, you know, maybe the small speaker is what you want. Yeah, very much so. For, for what's coming your way. And the other cool thing about it is, and I've done videos on this, it has the EV quick smart app that allows you to run each speaker as a an eight channel mixer with reverbs volumes eqs compressor it's got phantom power for microphones it's a pretty cool piece so i like it and and i can definitely see how it could be useful just as a dj mm -hmm. what do you do brian do you think a dj would do an event with like two of those instead of the evolve 50s yeah, I think these smaller events, I, <clears throat> I'm really thinking that you could probably, if you're pushing it, probably what 150 people. Realistically, really? probably more like 125. Uh, I think, you know, once you hit that 125, 130 mark, I think I go to the Evolve 50. But okay. I don't, I mean, you heard it, Jay. We didn't even have it cranked up in the room. You know what? It sounded amazing. And I think it's, the, it's a piece that, and this may not make sense right now, but look at it from this perspective. If you've already got the Evolve 50, and you have the opportunity to sell a guitarist 
for the ceremony cocktail or just a satellite where mm. you want to get tricky with things. I think this is the one piece that's really going to make a difference. And especially if it's my cousin does this, Oh, I offer a separate sound system for two fifty. Right. Oh, that'd be great. He doesn't have to bring an amp. He's flying in. I mean, you only have to sell it six times and it's paid for it. If you're yeah. doing it that way, I'm saying. It's just a cool little piece. I mean, I think yeah. karaoke people would enjoy it. I even think DJs might enjoy this. And the reason being is, I'm not going to name any companies, but there are a lot of companies out there that do not make good mic inputs on their mixers or controllers. They're just not... They, okay, let me just put it this way. They stand something to be desired, and they're not priority when building these things. Right. Yep. So if you run your microphone through this instead of through your mixing board, right. and you put the QuickSmart app on there, not only do you have a really good microphone input, but you also have effects and EQ and reverb and compression and all of those things that are wonderful about vocal microphones. And a lot of DJs don't even know about these things because they haven't used it. You can absolutely do that with this. Yeah. So uh, that's just one way you could use it. So that that's that. A lot of you guys know about that. I don't want to bore you with it. But that's one piece that is indeed available and out and everything else. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, it's, super, it's super cool, especially with the app. It really is. I, was, I saw it at NAMM and then the videos you did, blown away. And when just in the chill room at Photo Booth. Sure. Yeah, it was perfect there. And I've had a lot of fun with it here. Had Aris over here playing guitar and stuff. And we'll do more of yeah. that too. Nice. So th this is new from, it's actually ADJ products, but they're I think they're running it under American Audio because if you look real close here, actually it says American Audio on yeah, it. On the, the badge American there. Audio is now part of ADJ products. It's a very small uh, uh, piece of it, but it, it, is, it has been absorbed into ADJ. This piece is called the APX12 Go BT. The original ELS Go BT was, I believe, available in a 10 and a 15. Was that the battery powered one? The battery powered, this is a battery like powered an eight speaker. And 15, isn't it? Was it an 8 and a 15? Yeah, it was an 8 and 15. Yeah, you know what? You're right. I have a pair. I should know this crap. Anyway, yeah, we all this said, one, like, oh, if there was a 12. Yeah, and here it is. Here's the 12. That's awesome. Uh, mm -hmm. They have improved it. I, I don't know anything about it aside from here it is. But I've been in contact with Brian Dowdle. JC was very instrumental in the development of this. Awesome. It's, it's JC is the man. Yeah, JC is cool. This is the same technology that you you know pretty much saw uh, in, in the uh, Gobi T, but it's improved sound quality. And it does come with a microphone. Nice. And a remote control. So... So you get that. So it's a wireless mic that comes with it. So th this is going to be something, and, and I think it's mapping out. I, I believe it's mapping out at something ridiculous, like two hundred twenty nine dollars. Yeah, I was going to say so, the advantage points are generally a dollar per or a point per dollar spent on it. So yeah, it's going to yeah. be two twenty yes. the points on it. So it's right around there. And if we, I don't know, I, I'm actually having my first look at this thing. Uh, at really close here. Okay, so it's mic level, Bluetooth, MP3 volume. Um, so there's two lines, and then you have your your two like my inter instrument lines or microphone lines, and then you have your uh, um, so mic level and line level, and then you have your Bluetooth, <coughs> treble and bass. They still do add EQ to it. Now that's I think the trick with these Go BT speakers. A lot of people say, well, how do they sound? I'm like, well, it's a utility speaker. It's not going to sound like the electric voice stuff. And it's not no. going to sound like FBT or RCF or, you know, JBL. It's the background. It's, it's, a, it's a utility speaker. It's something that you use for cocktail or for background. For, you know, a couple of years, I used this as my speaker when I was mowing the lawn or whatever, you know, or had people over. I put it out. Mm -hmm. right. And I didn't crank it, but it was sound, you know. Yeah. They're, Casey Brown has used the 15 for ceremonies like from day sure. one, remember? Sure. In Texas, sure. and he had an iPad with a wireless Sennheiser mic. I'm like, wait, you're fully battery? He's like, yeah, I use Bluetooth, Sennheiser. I've got a mic on the officiant, sound, and I can mm -hmm. do it anywhere with no power. And I'm like, nice. Yeah. Well, what, what I will say about these speakers, it's, it's missing mid range. I wish they would put mid range on here, it would have made a big difference. But what I will say is that if you're running a program like Algorithms DJ, for instance, 
you can click on the EQ function on that. Yeah. And you can drop that mid. And when you drop the mid on these speakers, you really wake them up. Because the original, the 8BT was pretty mid-heavy. I don't know how this one is. JC so says it sounds much better. I trust JC. I hope to get one to test it. And, mm -hmm. and uh, maybe we can make that happen. But I don't know. You know, this is a, a wireless mic that comes with it, a remote. Um, but yeah, this is new. They just released this. That's cool looking. So, so that's out, Okay. And if, if we're talking about smaller events, outdoor events, backyard events, and you're looking for battery powered and, and knowing what's going on at um, Hall Group, this might be a cool little solution for you on a budget. <laughs> yeah, for sure. What so, it said, Maui 5. Yeah, no, this. Well, yeah. I mean, you got to get what you can get. I know Maui 5 goes are still available. And I know this because my big sister just bought one last weekend. Hmm. Oh, and, cool. And she loved Phoenix it. Phoenix is going to be loud. Yeah, Phoenix is very loud right now. Well, <laughs> Lynchfield Park specifically is very loud right now because no. they were jamming Buffett all day on Sunday yes, with that. Parrot house. heads are on the water. They are parrot heads, and it's I apologize for that. I really do. <laughs> so the other thing that I know about that's relatively new is this ape coin tube. Hmm, sure, it's the yep. simplest thing in the world. It's it's an ape coin, and there's a tube, and you run the coin through the tube and it glows so you Makes get an effect cool. that looks like that mm -hmm. Ooh. and yeah so that's kind of a cool little thing i mean you're looking at like i think 69 map for the coin i'm not sure what the tube is i don't have a tube here to demo yet it's something i kind of gotta jump on julius about getting to me or anthony one or the other and and i'll do that uh, this week. It'd be cool for like a walkway at an event. Or... Yeah, for sure. Just yeah. to yeah. give you... Oh, that'd be great. There are so many yeah. times... Outside. That, yeah, well, you know what I'm thinking? When you're doing the outdoor events, okay, like I think we might be doing, you want battery power, so the coin's good for that. You put a little power pack on there that you buy off of Amazon for 15 bucks, and you got a battery-powered light. Yep. Okay. Now, do you have anything to project the light off of? Because all PARs are relying on that they're counting on you to have a tree or a wall or something right or let's say that you're doing and i've done it before so many times you're doing a country club and you are in front of a giant window you have nothing <laughs> to, reflect. to reflect your light off of so in those instances this could be a pretty cool solution you just put these tubes around and you've got something like that glows. It. it's you know gonna be music mode so they're gonna flash the music they're gonna sync up you can group them you can do all kinds of stuff so yeah this isn't anything that's like super high tech or anything that's just a cool little piece uh i believe i think you can go up to a meter or, or two meters on these things hmm. i think that'd be cool which is well, like you know what it reminds me of brian remember when red food played at mobile beat mm -hmm. a few years ago yeah yeah mm -hmm. and they had the chave ones on the stage yeah like all around. Yeah. That's exactly what I first thought when I saw this. Well, it reminds me of the magnitudes that ADJ came out with a while back. The problem with the magnitudes were they were fat and short and they only fit on certain lights. Um, I thought they were cool, but they weren't tall enough. These are taller or you can make them taller. Right. They're narrower. You can have multiples and it makes sense. You're not hauling around all these big tubes. It's going to break down relatively small, but I think it's kind of a neat concept. Yeah. You, Brian, can you imagine with the remote control being able to get on the mic at an outdoor wedding and say, you know, ladies and gentlemen, welcome this, this, and this. By the way, if you look over to the green lit area, that is your food area tonight. The red lit area, those are the washrooms tonight. And yeah. you could literally totally. guide people around a place with the remote control. Yeah. These tubes by simply noting the colors by the color. Yeah. yeah, and I was talking about that on, you know, even for like your grand entrances into a room, why light up space you don't want lit up? Yeah. So, you know, draw your attention to the door, hit the button, bam, the door lights up, and then everything else goes off. Then when it's time for a cake cutting, like the cake up, turn the door off. And when it comes time for the speeches at the head table, turn the head table off, turn everything else off, but turn the head table on. So there's lots of really cool ways that you can use the grouping feature with Ape and the colors if you're creative about it, um, I know out of the box, a lot of people just aren't sure what to do with things. But yeah, the creative things and ideas like that, Jay, are really helpful mm -hmm. to throw out there to the community. Yeah. It gives them ideas. 
Yeah, so, I, I can see a lot of potential with these for different aspects of an event, not only sure. for fun, but for giving people a sense of, hey, here's where you are and what you're doing. Right, right. So that's what I've got for you. That's that's what I know about as far as new stuff. I, I don't know a lot, and I'm sure there's more, but those are the things that are just kind of on my radar right now. So, or Excellent. what that's worth. Excellent. Well, nobody expected this, Brian. I mean, we, we talked about it in yeah. March. Right. But we didn't talk to the industry in March. We were in a little room that, again, thank you, John, for providing us with the chill room. Yeah. We were in there saying, okay, now what? Like, we're all, like, the building just fell and we're in the basement. And when we come out, what are we going to do differently? So to me, it makes perfect sense that these things are there. But mm -hmm. I wouldn't have said this <clears throat> months ago. If you'd showed me those six months ago, I would have said, those would be cool right in front of where I'm DJing. Or they'd be cool on the side by my speakers. Or I would have never thought, what a great way to direct people's attention around an open space outside yeah. so they have a better sense of where they are and what they're doing. Right. But that's what's changed in my perception of my events coming up. Yeah. yeah. And that's, that's, we're going to have a lot of that. Now, speaking of events, I got a call today for an August wedding. Yay. No, I didn't book it. Not yet, but I got a call for it. And Baby Davey's probably going to get it, bro. Be honest who? With you. Baby Davey's Baby Davey? Yeah, he'd be the man for the job. Um, it was a referral from my friend Scott Thomas. He couldn't do the event, so they kicked it my way. And I'm talking to her, and I'm sending her pictures and videos and things. Uh, was very competitive on the price. I didn't lowball it, what I do. And Jay, you've talked about this, and I got the idea from you, especially during these times. What I try to do is when I'm working with other DJs in my area, I like to kind of have what I would call linear pricing. So yeah. I don't want to have a DJ who charges, you know, I don't know, $2,000, and then I come at it at $1,200. dollars does not make any right. sense. I want to be right about where that DJ is when I quote the price. Yeah. Just to be cool and try to work with people. And There's you know. an expectation they already have, and if their expectation is we like this guy at this mm -hmm. price and you come in way under, right? that expectation is... Or way know, over. We were going to rent the hotel for 50 bucks a night. This right. kid's 10. Uh. Yeah. Or way over. I mean, that's the well, other that thing. Yeah. So, yeah. And the, the bride's mind is she wants a very simple event. But the truth is she wants me present at rehearsal. She wants me to do the sound there and some directing. She also wants me to do the ceremony, the cocktails, the dinner, the dancing, and then everything in between, which... I understand she's a nice person. I understand that she's not going to give me a lot of details on the dancing part, but there's a lot of work there. There's a lot of time involved there. You know what? When it crosses so. the day, the day date line, that's another <laughs> event. No, right. I mean, and that's, like and, when I yeah. hear people say, do you do the, and for what it's worth, everybody, when someone says to me, do you show up at the rehearsal? No, that's another day. Yeah. Well, is it possible for you to, you would have to pay me because that's my time. Right. Right. I'd be happy to, but oftentimes I might be working then because your rehearsal might be Friday for a Saturday event. Yeah. And I understand people want your expertise and they want you to kind of walk them through it. I think the answer for me would be with the right meetings, you could walk her through this well enough that she could have it written out that you wouldn't need to be at the rehearsal. Well, it's going to be timelines and she's going to have somebody yeah. there, but you never know. There's always those things. I ran into it so much last fall, and I did a lot yeah. of this stuff where I'm just on standby. I'm letting the coordinator and the officiant do what they do. But when I start seeing too many red flags, it's like, hold it. <laughs> Not every event is the right event. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, to make a long story short, I gave her what I felt like was a very competitive price. Now, my friend Scott, just to give you an idea, he does an all-inclusive pricing on his things. He'll do like, it doesn't matter what you want. It costs this. Right. And that's fine. That's good for him. But I don't do it quite like that. So I wanted the information from her before I quoted, but I still ended up right in his ballpark. And, and we're just waiting to see. And, and yeah, so that my August was empty except mm -hmm. for like one. So it would be nice to have it. Um, 
I explained to her that I could not discount it any further with all the work that she has me do. <laughs> and I, I do oh. have one coming up for July as well. This is a, a family friend, uh, somebody who was at my niece's wedding that I DJ'd and yes, I know this liked one. my work. So, yeah. and it's going to be like in the park and it's going to be really chill in a small event. And that's a go. In fact, I just got the invitation Good. from it, the, the, the family invitation from it today. Good. So that's still a go. It's a slow summer, but man, I'm trying to make it happen. So. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what's what? Going on and, over here? And I know we're going to the next step, John, but I just want to say this, and this might be the toughest thing to hear, but, and I'll use my experience as the example. When you decide to start drawing back the price, I'm just going to tell you the reality of life. It takes years to get back. You can't one year be a thousand the next year be 700 and then think the next year you're back to a thousand. It, it will not work, work that way. No, and I know we all way. need the work and I would never be the one to tell someone what to charge for the event. But if you think the way forward is to cut and slash prices, I'm just telling you, you can't turn it around next year and say, okay, I'm going back to double what I charged last year. It doesn't work that way. It wasn't a big slash, just so you know. It wasn't a big slash. Okay, good. It was, it was, we, no, we really no, 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 no. I, I'm just, where we were, we need to go back there. I want mm-hmm. you to just understand that I, I didn't give her a huge, I mean, yeah, you know what? Under other circumstances, if it wouldn't have been a referral from this other guy, it would have right. been more. But I was right in line with his prices, and I'm not uncomfortable with it. It's okay. not something that, that I'm thinking to myself, oh, my God, what have I done? It's, it's not no. like that at all. So I mean, I, I only say that because I've gotten two calls on things, quoted them, and then they've come back to me on vendor lists where there's five of us on a list and said, yeah, we went with someone else. And I'm like, oh, okay, we'll have a great wedding. Yeah, they were almost half of what you're charging. Yeah. yeah. That's impossible because everyone on the list charges about the same. Oh, okay. They're going to play that game. Mm-hmm. They're just going to screw themselves in the long run. Yeah, I just hope no, tonight we don't get into this whole app thing where they're spying on you and all that because I know nah. that that's my biggest issue. To, like my phone, I mean, this might as well be like a spy cam. You know, I'm just <laughs> oh hey, what's up, buddy? Oh yeah, yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> no, we we talked about his like work last night and how he had amazing things to say. I have not seen it. Jimmy was talking about it. Nick was asking, happy birthday, Nick, from the chill room, was asking about it. So I'm really excited to hear about this. Yeah, yeah. For those um, for those of you who haven't heard about this, if you're one of the insiders, you've heard us talk a little bit about this, or if you've been part of the chill room, uh, Brandon is going to be uh, kind of going through an app he has been working on for taking doing instant requests at events during this time of a COVID-type world where there needs to be some distance between ourselves and the guests where the, the social distancing is supposed to go on the day of, of having someone come and stand next to you probably not going to happen in many cases depending upon your locale so brandon has put together a request system uh brandon can it kind of walk does us everyone know it? who brandon is by the way oh, for those of you who don't know i'm sorry Jay, this is Brandon. Brian, Brandon, if you guys haven't met, I think you guys got you met each down in Vegas. Uh, Brandon is my son. He is a college student up at NDSU, um, up in Fargo, and he um, does software development and uh, programming. So, awesome. Hopefully, yeah, that's, Jay, uh, do, do that's the. Let's not talk for a second. We're gonna see if we can get Jay to just shut up for like ten minutes so you can get this. <laughs> right, go ahead, go ahead, Brandon. I'm sorry. I mean, uh, in a nutshell, what my dad is trying to say is I'm a huge nerd. Um, so I was hoping to be able to get in and test this out, like the screen sharing and stuff beforehand. Can you guys see that? Okay. It looks great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So essentially in a nutshell, what the system is, is you can generate like QR codes and like, or links with, uh, events. You can have your audience, like you can print it out, send it out on social media, whatever you want. Uh, (laughs) those people can scan those code. It'll bring them to a request page like this, mm-hmm. and they can type in their song, they hit request, and it pops in in a nice little dashboard for you to see live and edit and you know, and handle. Okay. So we can log into the system. We can create an event. Uh, let's just call it my awesome event. Wow, it's not like I've used that name before. Yeah, oh, I was going to no. say you need to be um, a little more original on your <laughs> demonstrations. 
Also, yeah, wow, it's not like I've done that before. Uh, let's just call it a uh, demo. Why not? Ooh, I like it. Yeah, that's that's. So the access code is something that people can get to your event with without actually needing to scan anything in. Um, okay. Every event access code has to be unique. So you, you know, uh, let's create this up. We have my awesome event. Um, so we can just you know launch it. And if somebody goes to DJ requests.app, types in the event code uh, demo, it'll bring them to a submit a song request page that they can type in, like, please play my song. It'll go through and it'll show up. Now, that in itself, yeah, it's, it's okay, but we, ha we, we have a little bit more to it than that. So in my account here, I've specified <laughs> that my logo is totally unique. Uh, I didn't steal that from anywhere, you guys. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, no, no your, not at all. That's your, that's your company identification. I get that. Yeah. So this is my own. This is my company identification. I want to I want to go and make some QR codes. Uh, so we have some QR code generation stuff here, where I can actually embed my logo inside a QR code that goes directly to this direct link which automatically will bring users to the submit the song request. Okay, page. so what you're saying essentially cuz forgive me, I'm I'm not a nerd and I'm not <laughs> saying that proudly. So, okay, so what's happening is what I can essentially do is I can make a graphic. Mm -hmm. I can make a graphic and print this graphic out and I can put it on tables on business cards or whatever and all yes. the client's going to have to do is scan this. QR code and it takes them directly to the app that they're going to need to use to uh, come to me and 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 give me a request, right? Did I understand that? Yes, right? yes. mostly. Uh, the thing was is that this is directly and browser based, so you don't actually have to download an app. The goal is to make it as simple of a process for the people that your your audience members to have as possible. Okay, and so app downloads, logging in, all of that stuff is it, it turns people away from going through that effort. So it's going to take them to a, a website. However it does it magically, they scan yes. the code and they're there, right? Do you have your phone on you now? I actually? Just, yeah, I do. If you pull it out, open up the camera app and just, uh, it should be good enough quality over the stream. Yep, it is. The, QR, the QR code's not general, right, Brandon? It's specific to that event. Yes, it's specific to that event. So, so um, what I do is I take a picture of this, right? And you just kind of hold uh, the in hover your picture. camera over it, Brian. Yeah, and then it'll say yeah. open it up in a, a browser. Uh, I'm Brian's hoping my flip camera. Phone, oh. The camera's on the top. Okay. See, I'm I'm so not techy. I got to figure this out. <laughs> so what do I do with this? Do I scan it? See, what type of phone do you have? Just out of curiosity, <laughs> I got an Android. I just scanned it. And what should... page? Tap here to go to the DJ Request app. In your mm -hmm. browser. See, it says app. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gotta okay. give the old man a break here. All right. No, yeah, you're, you're, so you're doing here good. It is. And now I can just request a song. So I can say, Prince. I don't know, what would be a nice song? Prince. Oh, for Jay, yeah. John Cafferty and the Beaver Brown Band. Um, I want to hear this song from Should my friend's looking. movie. Excellent. Huey Lewis, yo yo, it works. Yeah, so they're coming in. Um, oh, now people in the chat. Okay, so what? Ooh, that happened immediately. Yeah. yeah, but now the people in the chat. Room oh yeah, is, yeah, they can. Yeah, it, I know that it's dangerous, you know, doing they this live technology, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> so there are a couple different features now built into the dashboard that we can go over too. Yes, yeah, so that you've instance, got some requests. Okay, Huey Lewis. Huge fan. I want to play that song, but I want to like save it for later, like pin it to the top. Cool. I can start it and it'll stay at the top until I unstart it, basically. Very good. Um, now let's say, okay, Huey Lewis, uh, okay, Lola's theme, right? Uh, I played that. I can mark that as played and it'll go to the played tab. I didn't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> you were out having a smoke. What are you talking about? Oh, sorry. <clears throat> I'm going to stay in my seat. <laughs> That's pretty cool, Brandon. I like that. So now let's say we don't want to hear. Uh, uh, let's go down and find one and that you don't want to hear or, or, or you want to get rid of it. Okay. Well, so this. So there's Snoop course, Booty. Who's, who's doing that one? 
That's pretty Other solid. sparks? Come on, guys. It's not 2007. <laughs> All right. So let's say... Uh, um, Brandon, the one is that it is like this. That one was mine, so you can ban that one. It is like this? No, okay, it is like well, this. Excuse me. Yeah, that's mine. Yeah, we're going to get mad about I'm it. Gonna, I'm going to say this real quick because I'll forget. The one thing you've got to build into this, Brandon, is when you've gotten like X number of requests for the same song, it stops taking it. Because <laughs> at a wedding, what happens is you get the one drunk girl who goes, can you play Miss New Booty? And then well, 17 it'll... people behind her come up and request it. Their way yeah. of thinking, if you get more requests, you're going to play it. I want to I want to make a a, a like a, a auto fill feature that will like when you type it in, it'll be like, oh, do you mean this song? So people don't have to type the whole thing. Right. And then once that's done, I can do some filtering based off of that. The only yeah. doubt, like, the real quick question is, what is this showing up on, Brandon, my phone? phone? Uh, say that again. I guess I'm confused. What, what am I looking at this on? Like so, I'm running the, the event DJ. on Serato. Is this coming up? as a side window as an like online or is this on my phone am i checking my phone constantly or is this on a tablet that, or is this for yeah, that's I want the, to be? yeah that's the question so essentially this is designed to be like open up you know and a laptop next to your system open up on the system if you really want i know a lot of djs don't like having their system connected to the internet uh, right. or an ipad the okay other good. The other thing that is set up to do is, let's say you do have a system that you run, you're you're fully fine with having on the internet, but you don't want to have the screen up because you know your people might not be as interactive. It's not worth the screen real estate to get maybe like six requests for a night. Sure. Okay, cool. Well, you can. What we actually have built in here is uh, desktop notifications too, so you can have this minimized and still be going. Okay. Um, and something down the pipeline that I also want to get into is. Having it so, let's say you don't even need to have this open at all. You can set it up so when people send requests, that it'll just straight up text you. Oh, that's kind of nice. Uh, that's that's not exactly fully in yet, but that'll be that'll be a feature that's coming down the pipeline. At some okay. Point. Have you have you looked to have this integrated with other existing programs like DJ Intelligence <laughs> as a music request? Um, those integrations and things are definitely in the works. Um, okay. I was very be, open to feedback. That would be great. Cause I'm using DJ intelligence right now for all of my clients to request their music. And I could set it up with them ahead of time that they could send out a QR code for their event. Yeah. And then we could get the requests before the event. And I could already have them in a crate in Serato or record box DJ by the yeah. time I get there. Because they've already said, can you please play this and dedicate it to the bride and groom from Uncle Brian and Aunt, you know, Blanca? Sure. Yeah. Uh, integrations like that are certainly like in the pipeline as well. Uh, to give a sense of timeline on this, uh, this is a project that started a couple days over a month ago, like from concept <laughs> to reality. Nice. Wow. So Good for you, man. There's a lot of work that has to be done, but it is in a state where it can fully function for, you know, your request needs for being able to slap your brand on it, put it and actually use it in the yeah. field. When, when, right, when do you see this launching? Uh, it is live right now. If, if anybody wants to go sign up and use it and try it out for shows. What's the, what's the fee to buy into this? So right now everybody gets a free seven day trial and that is probably going to be loose considering that, you know, it's the beginning of something. But sure. um, the standard account monthly is, if you pay monthly, it's nine ninety nine, and the pro, which gives you the branding features, is fourteen ninety nine. And by yearly, though, it's cheaper. It is eight thirty three and twelve forty nine. You're month. gonna murder your competition on those prices too, and it's all about I, volume, by the way. So what you did was smart. Yeah, I I did a lot of research and on like other competitor prices. And I was absolutely blown away of how the pricing was so ridiculously high, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, well, for yeah. software that felt like it was from 2005. Right. And, and the other thing that I, I think a lot of people do, and, and what Jay was talking about earlier was sending out QR codes to the client early. It's more of an applied science thing. I mean, you can use it however you want. But what I think a lot of these people are trying to do is they're complicating a program that doesn't need to be complicated and what i like about what you're doing here and what i will tell you that i appreciate 
with what you're doing here as a 49 year old DJ who doesn't wasn't born with a chip in his brain. It's simple. Brian, he looks there's not a lot going on yeah. here. It's pretty simple and straightforward and easy to use. Yeah. No, I really, I really like this. And it's a good alternative to a lot of right now. I use a Google voice number for my business and I give that out publicly. If somebody wants to text me, the issue becomes I get all these random texts. So I have to be on my phone. That's the first downside. This would work great for me in most applications, but I have my first event coming back the 21st. I'm in an area where internet is literally non-existent. Yeah, that would be tough. Like, mm -hmm. and, and I just absolutely, if you said, here it is for lifetime membership, I still wouldn't utilize it at this one, you know, private home where I do a lot of weddings because there is no internet. They're not going to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. And a lot of us have discussed this about, should I give them my Instagram address? And then they can go on Instagram. And if you like my Instagram page, you can message me a request. I don't want to be on my phone all night. I'm mm -hmm. fine with bringing an iPad with a That's dedicated right. program like this, though. I'm envisioning even an inexpensive tablet, and I keep saying it over and over again, but the little <laughs> Amazon Fires are he really good. Amazon. You can you could tether your phone <laughs> to it and have the internet there. So you wouldn't have to have dedicated internet on a tablet to do that. You're running the Motorola Razor, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, got a, I got a brick. Uh, Brandon, go these through things called iPhones. Brandon, go through. You did not. You didn't get a chance to show the uh, the the timeout uh, and uh, banning of someone. Which oh yes, yeah. If so the song has been requested four times. The next request should automatically say, "Thank you for your request. This song has been requested." Yeah. So there are like you know you can easily trash requests like just popping them gone. Yeah. Um, but let's say uh, where was the one you sent before? Uh, it is like this. It is like this. Oh, that's a terrible request. I'm going to suspend you. I can choose a permanent or 15 minute <laughs> suspension. <laughs> and now you can't make requests. Okay. Uh, you're, you're, you're a bunghole. I'm sorry. We'll be yeah, right. I'm sorry. You, you, you abused the privileges that I gave you with the software. And Nice. And it says like on my it. side, it says you have been suspended for 15 more minutes. See, that would work in a bar environment. I, I, this, if I was doing bars, local bars doing, you know, just a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday night or something, taking requests, I'd buy this in a heartbeat. This is in smart. a heartbeat. So I could this just sit really up there smart. with an iPad and get a request from somebody who's over with this girl who goes, Oh, you got to play this song. It'd be cool. Me and my girl, Sally, can you like wish her happy birthday? This, this is ideal. Yeah. This is, this is yeah, good. I you like can, what you've done here. Yeah. Brandon, you can deter people and say, like, Hey, I don't like, this is a clear, like, hey, you kind of were messing up, but in 15 minutes, we'll let you do it again. Or permanently is, of course, like, all right, you screwed up. Sorry, man. You, you raised them right, John. Yeah. Good job. Uh, now, Brandon, I know it wasn't I you. It, it was Lori. So. Yeah, I heard if you join the Disc Jockey News TV Insider, if you're a paid member there, there's another paid platform that you're going to announce later on. Is that – I heard that earlier, that if you're a paid – Disc Jockey News TV Insider member. There's another offering as well. Is that true? Is this a trusted DJ leak? Yeah, I, I would start yeah, doing it's, this. It's start part giving the yes. I was sign. gonna say this is all part of part of our stuff, Brandon. So, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just smile and yeah, nod, Brandon. Smile it would be nod. great. To, it would be great to to know that as somebody who respects and has joined the Disc Jockey News TV Insider, where you can actually go directly to DiscJockeyNewsTV.com and join as an insider this would be one of those great benefits that you could uh, like look oh, to yeah. up at a, a, a oh, yeah. marginal cost Brandon, yet, it's amazing are, you, are you old enough to remember the sham wow guy yes oh yeah that's, oh, that, yeah. that's jay oh, that's jay yeah, from the same hometown I think. yeah that's what i just did yeah, yeah that's pretty much what he yeah. did he's like okay so the you know there's the, the but train, wait there's more yeah the yes. train is jay's yeah, trying to talk go. about the train yeah, they're they're good things yeah, you know, I I am very much open to like bundling it with like you know other and you, services because I understand. Good idea. Yeah, like <laughs> I understand. Like this is this is this isn't like the, the core of of your the DJ business. This is something that you can add on and say and reassure those brides and grooms as to say like, hey, I have the capability to be safe and smart about the COVID season. I have the capability 
to like give your your audience the ability to to make requests without feeling intimidated right like the original inspiration from this actually didn't come from covid it came from you know me being in high school years ago and and seeing the group of of you know the teenage girls that are like no you go make a song request no you make this song request i don't want to talk to the dj you do it right as opposed to you still have them you give them the ability to type it on their phones no problem they can do that i yeah. like it the rest, the rest of us were standing in the corner going wait there's girls <laughs> 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 Brandon, there's a couple of questions here. Um, somebody was wondering if you could uh, set up an event so that you can use a QR code on a regular basis. So you can use, have an event and it can be used this weekend, next weekend, next weekend, that type of a thing. Yeah. So if you see here, I have my awesome event. It's active. I can control that. If I go to edit, I can choose actually a couple of other settings too. So I can clear out all of the requests. So let's say I finish Saturday night and I'm going to do this again next week, but I don't want like my previous week's requests in there. I can clear it. Boom, gone. Um, I can deactivate it. If I deactivate the event, it goes to inactive and then nobody can send requests until I activate it again. Nice. So what happens? Wow. Hang on. Keep that one. Keep it de deactivated. What? Oh, I can't wait a second. I, <laughs> mine says I'm... Oh, I, I suspended I'm, myself too. I'm banned. So <laughs> we can't do it. <laughs> oh. What it will do is they'll say that the access code doesn't exist, so it makes people think that that doesn't exist. So they can't like just regularly spam and wait for you to open it again. Nice. Okay. Um, do you know how cool this is going to look to a client when you walk up to them in the meeting and say, by the way, take a picture of my QR code. And while you're talking to them, you're making their event up in this program. Like, yes. you know, John and Sally's wedding, yada, yada, yada. Hey, exactly. here, take a picture exactly. of your phone. Oh, my God, that's our event. Yeah, if you'd like, you can do your request this way or tie it in with this or do that. I mean, I'm mm -hmm. sorry. This is such a great sales tool. There's two other two other big parts that you can do to this is you can show your name on the form. So submit a song request turns into I need to type in the access code again because I did um, I can have submit a song request for my awesome event. So you can have it say for you know Brad and Kim's wedding or for whatever you want. Or you can show your logo also on that same page. Wow. So okay. you can have it show that my totally my totally legit mine. I made that logo totally. Yeah. Right. No, right. I think yeah. I think that's the way to go. I think most of us that have logos that we're known for, that's the presentation that really looks professional. Mm -hmm. You can toss them in there. Now it's them going to really you. Yeah, you can mm -hmm. put a picture of them in there and put that part of the QRC or something oh, if you like wow. that. I mean, That's that would be a pretty neat Brian. idea, wouldn't it? You could exactly. have your logo below a picture of the bride and groom. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then make that the part logo of the, at the meeting and put it in the program at the meeting and say, if you hire me, you get this. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Take that. Um, yeah. I was just coming it's all out applied of science. This is insane. Yeah, this is neat. This is really cool. And as long, as, really it like get, this. As, long yeah. as it doesn't get too convoluted, what you have here is simple and good. If it stays oh. simple and good, I think this is fantastic. Currently, right. the, the logo is just being pulled off the user, but I can add, that's something that I can add in. Actually, I've been oh. meaning to add in for a little bit. Can you do a JPEG? Uh, yes, it can do JPEG, PNG. You can even embed GIFs. If you want to embed a GIF, you can. When you generate a QR code, it'll be static, but on the right. actual page, it'll be moving. Yeah, so you could, do a, you could do a GIF of a bride and groom and have that be the logo that they see. When yes. they open, yeah. Uh, Brian, actually, um, John, you know who he needs to talk to? I won't say the company name, but I'll say the guy's name. He needs to talk to Michael. You know what I'm talking about? Well, I think that he doesn't need to talk to Michael. I think he's doing just fine on his own. No, no, no. I, I think he's doing great on his oh, own. But oh, I'm saying, I, I see. I see. This yeah. Tied in with that. This, this I is this. I like this better than than what Michael's doing because it's not convoluted. It's no, no, no. It's I'm saying people. tied in with where you already have a group of requests coming ah, from a bride this, and groom. This is now so cool. Now you add their guests. This is so cool. Yeah, like uh, it, this how it is. As it, as it stands, Brandon, this is awesome. I'm saying mm -hmm. there are other companies doing different things that I think you tying in with would be amazing. Oh, yeah. mm. Integrations. I am so open for integrations. Like. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Brandon, I, I want to integrate. Brandon, oh, I love them so much. Brandon, we need to. Um, we've got somebody asking about uh, uh, about the potential of marketing to the information. Um, kind of talk about how 
no one's information is being stored that it's a cookie or however you're handling that so that we can yes t d talk about that so essentially uh your users don't sign up at all right like anyone who scanned the qr code you don't have to sign up at all like actually i'll show the i'll show the qr code again um and you can actually play with settings um with dot scale the qr code size you can have different logo and bed types I like this one personally the best. I like you know, personal preference, but yeah, um, you don't have to sign up at all. What it does is there's I, I could go into super technical detail about how web servers work, but how every single website handles people logging in or doing anything. It creates what's called a session, which is like a server side cookie. And if this is going over your head, I'm I, uh, my apologies, but it's basically a a, a small like entry that lives on the server for like three hours that says basically that you connected and whether or not you're banned or not. And that's it. Um, anybody who connects to it and then disconnects, nothing is stored on your device. Nothing is stored anywhere like that. All the information that is taken is dumped and I can't even access it while it's there. Wow. That's good to know. So I, th it, I think that's a big issue now with security and personal information getting out. Mm -hmm. The only you thing know? that the only thing my database actually will hold is, you know, your logo, your uh, logo, your events and stuff like that. Like what, what most web applications do. My sure. nephew built me a new computer. I got it this weekend and here are the specs. It's new and it's fast. That's all I know to tell you about it. Yeah, there so you go. That's about how technically advanced I am. <laughs> It's running like so, an i9, 32 gig RAM, like just insane <laughs> machine. No. You're just like, yeah, I accidentally picked the parts out at Best Buy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, this no, is really cool. This, I like it. Brandon, I like it. so much potential for this. Brandon, Keep somebody's asking simple. asking about uh, printing QR code. What would be the steps to get that to the point ready to be ready to print? So right now, the that's another thing that's on the like to do list of the next coming month or so mm -hmm. is. Currently, QR codes are just displayed here, but you can right-click, save image as, right. or here's a direct link too if you want to take that link and do whatever you want. This okay. link is embedded in the QR code. Nice. Um, you can save it, and then you can do whatever you want with it. It's just the QR code. Sure. Um, I want to make like a fancy, a fancy display page that you can print out without having to do anything. Uh, that is again in the works. In in the works. I like save as and just being able to send it to somebody and they can print it. You know, just the idea of having this on a custom card on a table mm -hmm. or something, I, I think. At the cool. event, maybe in front of you? You could even do that. You could, you could have it like that. You could even have it on a monitor. Like, I mean, I just took a picture of this on a screen. Yeah. Technically, technically, I could have a TV monitor spinning my logo and then one small flash is the QR code. I mean, well, you could also embed it on a screen monitor if you're doing, like, our, our good friend Brian K out there in Pennsylvania is doing video. He could have this in the corner next to his logo. People would come up, take a photo, and request a video. Mm -hmm. Most high school dances, what they do is they they go and they create their posters and post them all around the school. You give them a QR code, you know they're going to embed it. And now you have posters all around the school with your yeah. QR code with your logo in it. Nice. Yeah. I'm really impressed with this, Brandon. Good this job. Is good. This is Thank good. You. Good job. Yeah. Yeah, I, I normally you guys were on lockdown and you had nothing else to do if you came up with this. Yeah. <laughs> this stuff typically puts me to sleep and I'm not a very bad student, but I was into this. This was cool. And I understood it too, which is nice. Yeah. Also, another thing that I have put in is let's say you're in the middle of an event or something and you need help. I have a like actual text support feature, or I also have now a live chat that you can live chat me. What about get a waitress? Do you so, have get a waitress? Huh? <laughs> you have, like get away. <laughs> She's no? always interested in trying to figure out new ways to get cocktails. They get the drink, yeah. Where's the yeah. get a waitress yeah. button? You're gonna work on the get a waitress button there, Brandon. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I can only do so many things at once. Well, Brandon, well, that's, way, that's, your, way, that's your next three, venture. Three hours Enjoy ahead. Some... I can't wait for my first eleven o'clock. Hey Brandon, I can't figure out this thing. Dude, it's two in the morning. I'm asleep. <laughs> I'm a college student. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, you're probably here's your new thing. You're gonna do it for cocktail waitresses, and they're gonna have QR codes on their tables and the clients are gonna scan the QR code and order their cocktails that way, so it's less contact. See, now well, I just you know what? Million dollar idea. 
really, really fast. In 1995, I worked at a place in San Diego and we had a thing called the Telzon machines. Mm -hmm. And Michelle came over to work there after I started and she would stand at a table and type in the drinks and hit fire. And a thing would print up at the bar and I would make the drinks. So she would get them all wireless. And I'm like, how did we have this in 95? And (laughs) here we are today and it's still not around. Yeah. So, I mean, the potential for this is. They're waiting for Brandon to be born and to reinvent and to, it. And, and to bring it, it back. Yeah, that was all. Yeah. Reinventing the wheel. Yeah, my favorite. <laughs> yeah. This this would be Back to the Future 5, I think. It would be. It would be. Thank you so much for sharing this. Song. Yeah. This Chuck really Berry. Cool. Yeah, thanks, for Brandon, for coming on and, and showing that. Uh, for those of you out there, you can go out to DJ Request app, Request app, dot, dot app, excuse me. DJ Request. Which is a great DJ URL, by the way. Instantdjrequest.com is the... D- the landing page. Yeah, Instant it, DJ are we going to have a link on the show notes for yes, tonight? Yes, there are yeah. in the uh, uh, DJ request. Hey, i got to make sure I've got this right. Instant DJ request. Yeah, there's a few. We've got a few do, uh, different ones, uh, domains that are, are all going to the same same uh, spot. Uh, yeah, this is really cool. Yeah, YouTube is. I, I, I would try this at my wedding coming up if I wasn't in the venue I'm in, in a heartbeat, because it would be great to be able to say to the client, I've already got what you want to hear. Let's introduce this to your guests either at the wedding or maybe a day or two before. Or you say to a client, a lot of, I don't know about you guys, but a lot of my weddings, brides and grooms will say to them in the invitation, please send us a wedding request. Mm -hmm. Like, or what would you want or something like that? This would be a great way to do it. They could put the QR code right on the invitation. And now Mm -hmm. your logo goes to every single client. Exactly. And even if, even if the actual venue doesn't have people that can have internet, you can well, still can't. or you can hand this out beforehand. Send these just... up to 72, 48 hours before the wedding. This QR code will work. And then at 48 hours, you simply make the event unreachable. And if they haven't made the request, they can't make the request. I would be totally open to doing a separate Zoom chat with you, Brandon, and putting this on my YouTube channel just to show people what you're up to. Dude, I would be down. I would be 100% down. You could even have Jay come there, which would <laughs> yeah. be like really fun. Yeah, that'd be great. This You'd is take awesome. Take him away from his, you know, uh, Bill and Ted 3 promo stuff for a minute. You know, we could get him to come in there and help the us out. The label said, the studio said, just do some stuff. I just do what they tell me. <laughs> as long as the puppy's alive, I'm good to go. It's a John Wick reference. For yep, yep. Yeah, John Wick. I, got, I caught that one. I caught good. that one. Thanks, Brandon. Thank yes. you. Yeah. <laughs> We could also in that we could teach John, we could teach Brian what VPN means or something. Yeah. Like yeah. Expand his. Yeah. Okay. He's got a can with a string still as do I, as do I. Yeah. This was amazing. Like this is, I heard about it last night. Um, I had a little problem getting into the room, John. I'm sure you heard about yep, it. We got that fixed. We should be once, good. Once I was in, this was how he was talking about this. And I'm like, I caught the tail end, so I didn't want to kind of run with it. It was Nick's birthday coming up and this and that. But I I don't know a DJ working today that wouldn't benefit at any event, regardless, high school event, middle school, elementary, wedding, anniversary, any event that wouldn't benefit from using something like this. Because this is exactly what we need. We need social distancing we need a way to get that request and make people feel welcome with what we do. And, and this certainly clicks a lot of those boxes. I like your autocomplete. I was going to mention something earlier too. I think it would be really funny if you did it for a couple of different song titles. I'm sure your dad could help you out with this. Like whenever somebody types in, types in something like apple bottom jeans, <laughs> it automatically says low flow. Rider. Do you mean low from flow Rider? That would be great. Yeah, exactly. That, exactly. Wouldn't that be neat? Just, just like <laughs> autocorrect. And then just kind well, of keep the tab that's, running. That's, like. that's why I brought up Michael, because I use DJ Intelligence and other programs. And if I could in, you know, bring this into that fold where I could get the side note, but say to people, you only have till here. And what would be even – imagine this, Brian. I request Lola's theme, then you request it, and the program automatically says, that song's been requested. Thank you. What if what if we have a tally? So you can say like, you know, Lola's theme, and then like another request comes in. And it has a little flag that says, "Oh, two people have requested this." That's well, what I was thinking. 
Yeah. yeah, that that would work. But see, my thing is, and I'm sure Brian and John and Brandon, you've probably seen this too. You get the drunk bridesmaid who wants to hear Easy E bust a nut, and then ten people come up running after her, going every five minutes. Yeah, can you play Easy E? It's the bride. You just you just sort that out. You just have to sort that yeah. out as a DJ. But I like the idea. Of oh yeah, knowledge. but it would be great if it said, "Thank you for your request. This song has now been requested." Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I have to see it once. Because you're not going to, personally at a wedding, I'm never going to say, this is from Brian and Blanca. No, it's not. This is the bride and groom's wedding. I'll play your song, but I'm never going to tell. Yeah, I'm not gonna show, now here, show. this will be clever. What if the message popped up that popped up that said, thank you. This song has already been requested, um, but it still keeps the tally and they don't know any different. Right. Yeah. Uh, the Where you the have current problem. You- Doing something like that would be pretty simple. The only problem that comes up with that is, like, let's say I'm going to type in, you know, Fireflies by Owl City. That means I'd have to type in Fireflies by Owl City. Or if I do Owl City Fireflies, exact, exact, that shows yeah. up as right. different unless there's right. ways to sort that out. And I have what to build said, like, that entire hey, system. Hey, it's 2020, not 2009. You exactly. Could have, you could have, you know. Yeah. And I actually like <clears throat> Excuse me, times I one, times like two, times song. three. Oh, I unerratically like that song. <laughs> I actually do like that song. I'll admit that's a <laughs> pleasure. Track. Yeah. Also, another thing is because, like I said, this is in its new phases. Feedback is also like, you know, very critical because this is this is here to you know help solve your guys's problems with handling people remotely. It's here to help people like. If there's anything that you guys can think of that would help you guys do your jobs better or how, help you guys, you know, perform and just, you know, feel free to send that feedback my way. Like I'm telling you right now, and I don't care what anybody tells you, don't make this too crazy. Simple is good. People yeah. always say that they've got mm-hmm. this great idea and they're going to include all, you know, a monkey and an elephant. And no, forget the monkey and the elephant. It's fine as it is. It looks really nice. Yes. And Thank the you. more stuff you put in it, the more convoluted it gets and, and the crazier it gets. And I've seen programs and apps like this before where I look at it at a, as a guy in my age and say, nah, man, this isn't for me, but this I could totally do. I'll make, I'll make you a promise. If I, if, if there ever is a day where there's a whole ton of convoluted things in here, there will, that will have to be a, a, a enable crazy mode option or something like that. Enable like expert it. mode. So yeah. you can yeah. keep it simple, but let's say you want that extra power, you just go enable that, and boom, yeah. there you go. There's simple your... is so cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm a fan of simple apps too. Minimalist, simple. That's why, like, I don't even bother with like crazy grid lines or tables. It's just no simple. It looks good. It's easy to read. I like the blue background with the white letters. To me, that just says, you know, that that's gonna pop. On a on a smaller device and in, in the dark, especially as, as we yes. are, you know, working at nighttime normally. And for the so daytime DJs, cool. we have you too. There is a light theme oh, as well. Oh, look at that! And a semi-dark theme that you know, for you can do it whatever your taste is. Sure, that's really default dark mode, light mode. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> default default is always going to be dark mode. You can change it if you want. It's easy to change, but personally, dark mode. I'm sure most DJs dark mode, but I'm impressed, you know, man. I'm We're impressed. here to accommodate. I, I am too. I'm already like we'll be off this call half an hour, and I'll still have those. Like, man, if you could sell this to a casino nightclub where there's a <laughs> DJ every day, and they could have like specials as advertisements while yeah. they make requests. See, millennials are stupid, but whatever you guys are, you're smart. So there you go. Yeah. No. This this has a ton of potential. I like it. Thank yeah. you. I'm very happy with the positive feedback with this. Yeah. If there's yeah, anything even like after this call you want to like get in contact. Again, there's the chat in the lower right or the oh, right. support. And, and Brandon, you can trust us. It's not based on the massive amounts of money that your dad pays us. We're not just talking. <laughs> yeah. 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 We we have not been paid to say these things. No, for real, dude. No. Um like whenever you want uh coming up in the next week or two if you want to do uh another demo on this and I'll keep my mouth shut and just let you show it. We can we can do some kind of uh, Zoom and I'll yeah. record it and then uh, we'll, we'll just post it and get Jay involved or whoever yeah, else. I'd be happy to because I think I think having having a Zoom or any setup where there's questions that are legit like 
what about this? What about that? For people that aren't watching, and right now I'm looking, we have 8,000 people in the chat room watching us right now. That right. means there's still like, you know, 7 billion that aren't. So we got to reach those people. Yes. Mm -hmm. No. My, my channel's got a pretty good reach, so we'll, we'll knock yeah. that out if you want to this week. Yeah, yeah no. I would love to. Yeah. Um, it's great. We'll go about setting up uh, a time that, John, do you have contact that we can go about afterwards? Yep, yep. I'll, I've got everything. Okay. We'll, we'll do that. I'll just call him dad. Come on. I was just going to say, uh, what, what the hell is he hey, I have to be professional, for? right? <laughs> you are professional. Come on. He, we're, we're all dads in here. That's right. Uh, John, we're all you dads have time to work this in. That's true. The comeback is, yeah, Brandon, when I don't send you to bed early that night. Darn. <laughs> Shoot. Yeah. What do you mean I can't have the apple juice? No, you like, can't. Come on, John. What's up? Yeah, John. Well, let's wrap Maybe this. Maybe we should call Dad from now on. Let's wrap <laughs> this up for tonight. Uh, well, Brandon, thanks again for jumping in and uh, sharing. Uh, thank you guys for being with us tonight. You guys <laughs> that stuck. was awesome. Yeah, you guys nice. stuck. Uh, we had a nice crowd that stuck with us here right to the very end. Uh, after this, you can go to the djntv.com slash chill. That is where the crew is headed to. Some people are already over there. That is our chill room. It's open all the time. We had a little problem with it last night because... It has to be reset every 20 days. This is a new thing with Zoom. It used to be every 50 days. Now it's every 20 days. So I went through and set up reminders. So I will, at 19 days, I will reset it for 20 more days. That's awesome. So that way and we thank have you a the problem. chill room again, John. We really yeah. appreciate it. Oh, you're very, very welcome. And, and uh, thank you guys for for enjoying that and, and having a good time there. Um, thank you. Yeah. Guys, go do that. And we will catch you next time. Links, uh, instantdjrequest.com is in the description of the youtube video where you guys can go check that out and we also put it up into the uh, chat room so you can, or the chat area you can grab it there have yourself a wonderful evening and we'll catch you next time good night everybody awesome cheers thank you